Hey guys, what's going on? Hamish here from Income Stream Surfers, and today, oh boy, do I have a golden video for you today. This video is going to give you the exact techniques to find the lowest competition keywords available on Redbubble using Google and Bing search operators. Now, if I took this strategy myself and did it myself, I would be in the money, but instead, I'm giving it to you guys. So please, if this helps you in any way, hit like, subscribe, hit the notification, leave a comment down below if you use this method, and let's get right into it. Hey guys, just wanted to say before you watch the video, my uh, computer is on its last legs. So there's a little bit of lag because I'm switching between uh, tabs and opening new tabs and things. You'll see why in the video, but um, just to warn you that there will be a little bit of lag. But the content in this video is 100% golden. Okay, so if you've been watching my videos for a while now, uh, you'll know that I'm obsessed with finding low competition keywords on Redbubble. I've used SEMrush for this, I've used Redbubble's own sitemap for this, and now we're going to use Google and Bing search operators. What is a search operator? If I type in site, uh, colon, redbubble.com, again, it thinks I'm a bot, I'm not a bot. This will only show pages from Redbubble, okay? So already you can kind of see where I'm going to go with this. If you look in the description now, you will see a rather complicated looking bit of, it's not really, it's not code, it's a search operator. So look, I'm just going to paste it in. Okay, so what does this actually do? Site redbubble.com, in URL shop. So that means uh, shop is within the URL. But people, because minus people, so people will not show up. Why have I done this? I only want search results pages within Redbubble, okay? And then in text, colon, uh, these, um, what are they called? Oh, my God, what are they called? Um, commas, inverted commas. These inverted commas or speech marks mean verbatim, which means exact text. So what does this do? This gives us pages in Redbubble without people with the text zero to 300 results. But you can change this to whatever you want, whatever number you want. So let's change it to 100, click here, open one, 21 results, okay? Because zero to 100 includes the number 21. If I wanted to really look for low results, then I would do this. 0 to 10, look, 10 results. Okay, a couple of things. This isn't perfect. Sometimes there will be a number somewhere else that, uh, the, that Google will pick up. But in general, it's pretty damn good. And all of these results will have a small amount of competition in. Okay, eight results, for example. Okay, so that's Google, but there is a problem with Google. If I go to page uh, 30, one second. This is going to make my computer a bit laggy. Sorry about that, guys. I am getting a new computer soon, so this will no longer be a problem. Page 30. Okay, this uh, little pop-up comes up, and this basically means that they've omitted some results. So let's click here. And then, oh, wow, look, 42,500 results. No, okay? Google has a problem. Some people say that that uh, number, the 42,000, is a estimate. I call that bull stuff. <laughs> I'm trying not to swear. Um, in my opinion, Google just doesn't like people doing this kind of method. Uh, so as you can see, page 30, the results actually stop, which is around, well, it's exactly 300 results, okay? So this, there is a way around this, obviously, on Google. So if I just uh, search this again, 
I'm not a robot. Please Google, I'm not a robot. I promise. I'm just as good as a robot. So look, you can play around with this by putting different numbers here. Okay, that doesn't work actually. I don't know why. Okay, so you can play around with this uh, by putting different numbers. Or you can also play around with this by changing your search settings. And for example, you can put yourself in the United Kingdom. God save the Queen. Okay, again, that changed it. If you saw, it changed the results. Um, but, you know, that method's good, but I prefer, I prefer using different methods. So, so far, I've probably given you uh, using just Google. I'm pretty sure I've just given you about 10,000 results if you follow this guide. So that is 10,000 potential keywords with low competition, okay? You should already be bowing down to me and calling me your leader, but I have something even better for you, okay? So let's go on Bing instead. Now, Bing has slightly different uh, search operators. Um, again, it's the minus people and shop in body, which is in text effectively, and then 10 results. Uh, I'm trying, I, I tried for a couple of hours to work out a way to make this uh, like Google, but it doesn't seem like Bing has the same, um, the same thing where you can put 0 to 10 or 0 to 20 or whatever. So instead, I've asked it to only show me things with 10 results. Now, for some reason, 1 to 9 doesn't work, so don't even bother, okay? I think it's because 1 and 9 are in different um, numbers, like 147 has the number 4, the number 1, the number 4, and the number 7 inside it, okay? So for some reason, again, it's not, th this method isn't perfect, okay? Because I've told it to only give me 10 ones with 10 results and it's giving me ones with 18 and stuff. But if you go through this, most of these will have 10 results and there are 20,000 results, guys. 20,000, okay? Do you understand what I'm telling you right now? Because if you don't, <laughs> well, I don't really know how to explain it any better, but you should understand what I'm telling you. Look, Sniper Wolf is a fairly popular Twitch streamer I'm not sure if her stuff's copyright. This isn't what that video, this video is about. If things are copyright, that it's your, it's your responsibility to check if things are copyright. I'm not gonna go over every single thing that's copyright or copyrighted, but I have just given you a technique to find probably around 200,000 low competition keywords on Redbubble, okay? Now search through these to your heart's content find things you can maybe if you wanted you could match the um remaining act that's actually a really interesting one i'd quite like to make a shirt on that so i'm actually going to make a couple of shirts on that on on this i'm not going to do it on the video guys i'm just going to give you the technique you can visit my shop which i'll leave in the description you can see what i'm working on you can copy me if you want not really bothered someone started copying my designs the other day didn't annoy me at all Look, all of these results, I'm just going through them quickly so you can see, they all have under 20, I would say, uh, results, okay? Now, I'm not saying these are, these are popular, okay? That's not what this is about. These aren't necessarily popular designs, okay? You might, okay, look, 38 results. For some reason, I'm not quite sure why, it's a little bit weird. But if you just, uh, you can mess around with this as well, guys. Refine it. So let's put um, 37 results. If I open this, I'm pretty sure it'll have 37. It has seven. So it's a little bit, it's not, it's not very precise, is what I'm trying to say. Look, 36, no idea why. Can't explain why, okay? It shouldn't, but it does. Okay, guys, play around with this, look through this, but basically this method will lead you to easily and quickly the two most important things, easily and quickly find low competition keywords on Redbubble.
okay? This is absolute gold that I've given you. Please like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.